Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Starcloud and today we are playing Pokemon TCG Mesmer's Feast episode 20. Uh, made it to the big 2-0 as we continue on our path to our Jolteon V for this uh, this big session, 20 day session of uh, climbing the ladder. And actually we have a 3 win streak after our last episode which was really cool. Um, just a lot of matches in that one. So we'll see if that... Uh, that energy keeps going. And we're actually going up against a guest player with a dragon deck, so that's pretty cool. I don't know what that means, if uh, that'll mean if it's a basic deck or not, but you know what? We're not going to underestimate it. We won the coin flip, and we will go second. Again, I'd love to know the benefits of going first. Uh, also, Sandy Gast, ha Halo Sand. That's going to be fun. We're gonna try that. Now there's no V-Star Pokemon in our deck, but um, I do like that they still give us a little chip for it. I also noticed that GX isn't a thing in these. So we will start with our Sandy Gast. I'm not sure Mecco is good for getting special energies out. Thing is, pa Palosan mostly requires normal energy, so three psychic types and perhaps a capture or a, or something like that. Capture energy. I'm interested to see what sort of cards they have. One thing I wish that we had in uh, the US regarding Pokemon cards. Wow, that's a lot of basics. Uh, that's a huge bench already. Is uh, the Japanese back art. If you've ever seen the Japanese cards of Pokemon on the back, the printed uh, logo, it looks really, really cool. Um, I mean, these are cool too, but it's nothing, uh, nothing like the Japanese set. Okay, Lycon V, let's go. That is such a large bench to start off with. Wow. Glygon is pretty scary. If your opponent's active as a Pokemon VMAX, this does 160 more. You discard three from this Pokemon, three energies. That's a huge move. Okay. Well, it is a basic technically. So, all we can do is hope that he doesn't evolve into a VMAX and doesn't get it off uh, into uh, a crazy scary Pokemon quick enough with his energy. He has no energies, I don't think. Anyways. So far, he only had Pokemon. So he must have energy now. He has no energy. Okay, this is huge. Spirit Mask. Uh, energy. And we will reveal that it is actually a Palosand. Now, I've never gotten to use Palosand, his bottom move, to instantly knock out a basic Pokemon. If we can do this, this would be massive. And it's looking good. To be fair, we could just do the double turbo. Oh, I should have done... Well, you know what? That's fine. We're just going to see if he makes it a VMAX. But he has no energy. Oh, this is so big. This is so big. Can we do it? We're pressing Sandstorm? Oh, we did it! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, this is a. I think this is GG's. This is literally GG's. I'm sorry, this is crazy. I hate to be so overjoyed at this, um, this total upset, but... I think he's gotta know he's done. Every move. Yeah, he's done. This card is insane. The only thing about this card, I would say, is if there was a card that just um, pulls him away completely, back into my hand, or back into my deck. Also, um, <laughs> I guess what you could do against this is you throw out the ones that you're not going to use, like the Pokemon, let's say. 
and you try to build up one of your benched Pokemon until you can finally deal with that. Draw two cards. Or actually, it could be Hurricane. I wouldn't... That wouldn't make sense though, because... I would say draw two cards if you're so far behind. Maniko, what he needs is... Um, evolution cards. That's the big um, upset against this guy. Um, anyways, let's just do this again. Okay. Crazy start this is. He's gotta have an evolution though of Maniko or perhaps Nose Pass. Nose Pass's evolution's pretty good. Trap Pinch, I'm not too sure of. But we also can use Spooky Sand in case he does evolve it. Okay, 10 damage. Resistance to Fighting type. And he has to discard a card, right? Oh, uh, only if we're damaged, actually. So, that wouldn't work. Anyways. Old Cemetery, let's go! Okay. Yeah, Payless End is definitely uh, a keeper. It's just not very often, I don't think, that you can get him out like this. To completely control the board like this. Alright. Perfect. That's another one. I think that makes our four win streak, right? Yeah. I think this might be our record for the amount of win streaks we've had. Nice. Oh, we are climbing it. We are going to get that Jolteon soon. <laughs> Alright, let's do another one. Uriel Mayoral. Uh, electric Dark type. With some EV coin. Coinage. This could be uh, pretty scary. Because our Psychic type is definitely weak to darkness, usually. Let's go ahead. Oh, we lost that one. Oh, he wants to go first. Okay. We do have our moon up. We also have Clefable. I do like Clefable. Oh, our opponent had no basics. Okay. We'll do... We'll do Clefairy. Why not? We'll put Moon out there and Sandy Guest. Both good. He had no basics. I hit a mulligan. Okay. We'll see how many times they have to mulligan. Probably just once. Now this coin can be crazy if we use mini metronome. Oh, he had to do it twice. Okay. Oh, Limsa caught out. Uh, Mawai will keep here. Once active, already has any damage counters, it does another 70. It's really disaster, that's a really good card. Okay, let's find um, Musharna if we can. And it's a one cost retreat, but we'll do a, we'll do a capture energy to get our Ndidi. Some more uh, healing going on. And we can't use any moves yet, so we will end our turn there. Your 
shrine only needs a basic energy to use sleep pulse. Yeah, this is pretty scary stuff. Because 50 damage is a lot to carry. I think we're going to try to retreat. Let's do crushing hammer first. Hey, let's go. Let's get rid of the dark type. And what we'll do is we will... Oh, shall we evolve him? Let's do a lucky energy on our Clefairy. Let's evolve our Musharna. Perfect. Let's use Watch Over. And let's try a little bit of RNG with Mini Metronome. Nope, didn't work. That's fine. That's completely fine. Attaches an energy to his Absol. To that Absol. Interesting. Well, he will. Actually, he can't use any move with that one. So he had to retreat that one. But he will be able to use Swirling Disaster there. Oh, another energy retrieval. So he'll get one electric type. Did he put that energy on him last turn? Yeah, he did, so he will be able to use Claw Rend. Okay. Shall we try this? Uh, 20 damage healed, another 20 damage healed. That won't quite work. Um, so let's do this. Um, let's evolve ourselves. It's gonna do... 70 more damage. Well, 120 total. Yeah, that's way too much. So, what we'll do is we'll use this. We'll do the... Oh, we can't use our ability when we're in the active. We have to use him elsewhere. Let's do this. Let's bring him out. Why not? He has a 1 or 2 cost. Uh, lose Lunar Blessing. And Magical Shot. That was a great move. So he will kill our Clefable. That's, that was a good move. We should have got our Clefable out of there, to be honest. But... Maybe it's Musharna's time, you know? We'll try it. So, we'll do this. We'll use Watch Over. There we go. And we'll put him to sleep. Yep, he's asleep. We'll see what happens. And with this um, Super Hypnoblast move, we will be able to take out his Absol in one turn. If we're lucky that he doesn't wake up. That has no retreat cross, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle it. Oh, that's it. I've never seen this card. Feather Ball. What a cool, what a cool item. Jolteon V. Whoa! Alt art and everything. Beautiful card. That is a beautiful card. Wow! That is the card we're trying to get, but not the alt version. Oh, he's asleep. Yep. Okay. Put a spirit mask on the Sharna. Do another one of those, and we'll do a Hypnoblast. Okay. There you go. Now, Jolteon's pretty scary. But we can heal it once he does it. Why would he send him out first, is my question. He knows I'll put him to sleep. I would have. Oh, that's why. Okay, never mind. Completely wrong. Ouch. That's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. Oh, I see. Oh, wow, what a move. Does Spirit Mask still work? Oh, okay, well, that's fine. That was a good move.
Uh, it's not a basic Pokemon, so that wouldn't make any sense. So we'll heal him. 20. Oh, that's every turn he can do that, huh? Wow. What a move. Let's get... A capture energy on our Sandy Ghast, perhaps? Who could we use? Ditto, perhaps. The wild's good, but no. <laughs> We're gonna have to lose our Whimsicott here, and uh, most likely our Ndidi. So he's gonna get four prize cards for that. Oh, this is very dangerous uh, with that Jolteon. Wow. How could he ensure that he wins by not attacking Whimsicott, but he has to with that move? Yeah, he has to kind of gambit that my Musharna doesn't work, which is a good gambit. It really is. Or he somehow bosses orders my Musharna out. Well, no, that wouldn't work either. What I would do with his Jolteon is attack my Whimsicott, heals my Whimsicott, and attack Ndidi, which will take out Ndidi. And he'll get four prize cards. Hope that my Musharna doesn't seal the deal by putting it to sleep a bunch. Oh! Interesting. Well, now he doesn't actually take out my Whimsicott. I don't quite get that. Anyway. I don't want to put any more energy on my Sandy Gas because he's too weak. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll put one on Ditto, and end our turn. I don't know what this means. <laughs> don't know. What was this? Search your deck for basic energy, reveal it into your hand, shuffle your deck afterward. Okay. Alright, Max Thunder. Is he gonna take out? Yep. That makes sense. That makes total sense. Oh, I see why he would do that. Okay. Oh, I know. I do see. Oh, wow. Well played. Unless. Hold on. Let's do this. We'll retreat for a Musharna. And we'll do Sleepy Pulse. Oh! Nope, there you go. Well played. Well played. That's GG's. Because he'll take out Whimsicott and, uh... Actually, no. That's not quite GG's yet. But I did that a little too soon. I say that because he'll do 100 to our Musharna and he'll do 100 to Whimsicott or Sandy Guest. I, I miscounted. He has three prize cards still. And Musharna has 120 health. We will have to get rid of one of his cards when he does hit the Spirit Mast. Never mind, he didn't attack that turn. I don't know why. It's interesting. Do we have a Pokemon D in here? We do. Does, uh, only over the active Pokemon. Anyways, uh, let's try it again. Oh, again. Oh, it's toying with me. Is he gonna boss his orders me out? <laughs> if he ba if he bosses orders any of these guys out, then it's done. Telescopic Sight. That's more damage, but he didn't need that. Yep, that's two. Very close. Indeed he does. 60 for each energy attached. That would only do 120. Ugh. This is so hard. 
Let's do this. Alright. Sleepy Pulse. Hey, he's asleep. <laughs> we finally did it. Alright. But he might have a card that heals him from his special effects. Such as, um, what would it be? Um, it's like, um, it's a special healing type of card. Oh, he's asleep! No way! Okay, that's, that's good. We like it. Alright, 70 health. You know what, let's, uh, let's do, well, he can actually go after him. Um, we'll do this. Is it four for a ditto VMAX? I think it's only three energy, so it's not quite worth doing that. Anyways, uh, we'll do this for now. Oh. Now it's GG's. Well played. Wow. That is GG's. You have a good- oh, that's nice. Look, look at my heart. That was nice. Oh, look at that! Oh, it's so beautiful! Alright, that's my favorite card that I've seen so far um, today. Yep, okay. Well, you can't, you can't be mad at this deck. This is a really good deck. I love the Absol move. Uh, I could see how dangerous that is. But the Jolteon really rounds it out. It really does. In Lyperd, we didn't even get to look at. When you play this from your hand onto your bench, you may discard a Pokemon tool. It's pretty nice. And Shadow Ripper, uh, that's not so amazing. Again, yeah. GG's. Uh, good game. <laughs> that's a that's a happy defeat. I, I really like that match. That was good. And a little bit of progress toward our tickets. Which, by the way, very soon, I think, we're going to be entering into a tournament. Um, but before we do that, we might do a couple more things. We'll do a little bit more of the verses, and I think in the future uh, episodes coming out, we'll do a big pack opening online here and uh, see what sort of cards we get and see if any of those cards that we um, unpack will blend into our deck better than what we have right now. But anyhow, thank you so much for watching. I hope uh, all of you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to leave a like if you did or dislike if you didn't and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you liked about these matches, uh, the strategies that were involved. Tell me what your favorite card was for me personally. Jolteon VMAX all the way. Even that Jolteon V was so good. Uh, I love the alternate art that um, Pokemon releases. And uh, make sure if you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button down below. Also hit that bell for notifications when a video comes out like this one. Above all else, have a good day.